What's up YouTube, this is Scruffy from Meme Dark Horse. Um, today I'm going to be doing a deck profile of what I want to play, which is Light Sworn. Uh, pure Light Sworn, uh, no fancy anything. Uh, probably not what I'm going to take to my locals, but I'll probably mess around with uh, while I have it. What I am taking to my locals is going to be a fun deck, and I'll be showing that. Uh, probably, I'll probably film it Thursday or Friday and then upload it uh, sometime this weekend so you guys can see that it's I've been playtesting it it's really really explosive but it can have dead draws just like you know any other deck but the fact is, is it's really fun and it plays some of my favorite monsters so I'll be showing you guys that later but for now here's a fun deck I'm gonna be trying out in the meantime uh, you, I'm not gonna show you guys an extra deck because you it's pretty standard it's the normal you know synchro monsters so no biggie but Double JD. Uh, this card is not as amazing simply because of warning, bottomless, and more more importantly, effect failure. Effect failure kind of like uh, gets rid of that and kind of makes it more human. <laughs> uh, it's still a really good card though if you can get it out. Gores. Uh, you guys know how good that is in Light Sworn. I mean, you guys, we have hands full of dead cards, so the Gores is amazing. Yeah, two Celestia. Sack a wolf, uh, sack a Ryko, flip Ryko, sack Ryko for a Celestia. You guys know how good that is. Again, sucks when it's uh, effect alert, but I mean you can't pass up the minus two plus the million of four, and you gotta play the sackiness that is triple wolf. Uh, mill it, get twenty one hundred beater. You can foolish burial it. Um, it's just really good. Uh, it kind of sucks when you draw it, but it's going to happen. You can always stack with Plague, and then mill it with Glow Up, or just stack with Plague, mill with Card Trooper, um, that, all that kind of stuff. So You got to play your two Lila. Again, gets rid of back row. This deck doesn't like back row. Do Ryko. Flip Destroy. Uh, try to protect it. I mean, I do play a couple other protection cards that uh, I believe to be pretty good so if you can just keep right on the field that way you can flip on near term and choose what to destroy because you're always going to want to go for the back row in this deck one Lumina, spam the, uh, yeah spam the field get out Lila, destroy back row uh, bring out Garoth, go for draw power uh, one Aaron, you don't really need to be playing more than that uh, it's not really that amazing of a card, it can be good in certain instances against certain decks, again Sabres but Really, I mean, the Sabers maybe plant Synchro, but they're gonna, you're just gonna flip the Ryko, so it's just gonna get destroyed. Aaron's okay, but you gotta be playing it. One Jane, one Garoth. Uh, play the One Honest. Two Card Trooper. Uh, I really like this card. I like the fact that you can, like, mill three and then plus off it. Once it's destroyed, just, it just gets destroyed, you draw, and then you draw for your turn, so it really helps you set up. Um, and it's a 1900 beater, which the deck kind of lacks beaters, besides Wolf, but, I mean, and Jane and Garoth, but I mean, like, really, Lila's not considered a beater. At 17, you're not going to be attacking over too much, but you have to play. This sets up a lot of plays. Uh, double tuner. Another double tuner is Glow Up. Uh, really good. If, if you happen to get out Gores on, you know, on their turn, obviously, and then you next turn, you can summon Glow Up and sync out twice for 2-8s. That's pretty cool. Got the one deck we're going to... And I play, I want to uh, try out double effect filler. This is what I think could be, you know, kind of controlling. If they try to do anything, you can just effect filler it, and their monster is going to be sitting there, so they don't get to go off. Uh, the best part is you can beckoning light effect filler. Uh, I mean, if I'm playing two, I'll be drawing into it, or milling it way more often, so I have easier access to it, so I can keep controlling. Because once you have JD on the field and you have not gone for game yet, you kind of need that effect filler to make sure they don't regain advantage. Okay, now on to spells. This is a 42 card deck, by the way. Uh, that's 24 monsters. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Maybe be playing the triple solar recharge. Uh, kind of the huge draw power of the deck. You can be playing this. I know it's kind of bent. I need new recharges. I'm gonna get ultis at some point. Um, but yeah, great draw power. One charge. I'd be playing it. Uh, usually, I mean, like it really depends on the situation and what you're gonna search. There's no herp way of playing that card. I mean, unless your target that you want to get gets milled, but I play two duality. To be honest, if I had three duality, I'd be playing three. Uh, Lightsworn's really need the consistency, and you're not really going off as you know 
turn one or turn two as much as you think you would. You really need a duality into the recharge or the target that you or the JD that you need to go up next turn. I mean, duality really helps the consistency of light swords. Uh, I play double gold sark. Uh, again, this gets you your, I mean, your JDs, your uh, shoot, your gores, your solar recharge, anything to speed up the deck really. A uh, pot of avarice to send everything back. Uh, just make sure it doesn't get milled. Yes, you're foolish. You can foolish your uh, your necro, your glow up, your plague, your wolf. Usually your wolf, so you can sack it or do something. But good card. Pot of avarice helps put everything back. I mean, just things like uh, honest could go back. Uh, obviously, effect filler definitely JDs and gores. You want to be drawn into those, not milling them. But this helps bring it back. It's played over monster reincarnation. Uh, mostly because monster reincarnation, re yeah, monster reincarnation can be a minus, and Avarice lets you put more targets back, which I like. It gives you your draw power. True Nade push everything back. Reborn staple, dark hole staple, and that's it for spells. For traps, gotta be playing the double beckoning light. Just it sucks. This card is not that good. Uh, this format, or even towards the latter and the last format, because everyone's playing seven tools. Pitching the cards is a cost, so if you play this and it gets seven tools, you're SOL. So, I mean, that's why I kind of don't really like this card. Um, but you got to be playing it, sadly. I'm not just going to play, you know, Triple Avarice or Avarice and two reincarnations. It's just bad. This uh, does help you a lot. Obviously, if they attack into your Lumina, you can play Beckoning and bring back your Honest and then play Honest during the damage step. So, I mean, it's still a good card. But just watch out for seven tools. And then Double Warning. Uh, it stops way too much of the meta. I would play it in pretty much everything besides maybe like fish OTK but yep that's four cards so that's a 42 card deck things I'm not playing uh, if you guys are wondering um, well why not torrential mirror force stay with their stable back row basically you want to be going off as soon as possible that's why I play you know so many draw cards and search cards I play obviously the double sark the two duality which I could, would be playing three the charge the solar recharge I mean, like, there's a lot of draw power to make sure you get what you need fast because you want you don't want to have your dead draw sit in your hand for too long. Um, I guess that's the main thing. Other things, I, I mean, what else am I not playing? Uh, no Book of Moon, that's not needed in here, especially not with Double Veiler. You want to be playing this out of your hand anyway. You don't want set Book of Moon. It's just going to get MST'd. And that's another thing. I mean, like, the less traps you play, the more dead their cards are going to be, so they can't 7 tools or MST if you don't have you know, more back row, which is another reason why I'm not playing Real Decree, because it's just going to get MST'd. You know, there's no point. And speaking of MST, I don't run MST. I'd rather eat up their back row by forcing monsters like Celestia, Wolf, that way I can drop the JD. Uh, MST can be a dead draw, um, especially when you want to be drawn into, like, things that help speed up your deck. I know MST can speed up to get JD out safer, but really it's not doing a whole lot for you. Um, besides just that, because that's why you get the Lila, the Rikos, Celestias in general to stop the back row. That way you can do JD. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I was also considering reinforcement of the army um, to hurry up and get like an Aaron, Jane, Groth. I mean, you can even go for a Necro, but you got four targets for Rota, and you can just Rota into a Solar Recharge or target. So you can just like bring out Groth and then Solar Recharge your Groth or something. Um, it's a deck thinner, but it's for, I take the deck. The deck is 41 cards, and that's why I'm not playing it. I've considered double MST in here to make it 43, but really, you want to have the deck uh, around 40 to 41 because you got triple wolf. You won't want to be drawn into the wolf, so keep that low, uh, but not too low. But anyway, guys, that's the deck. Hope you guys like. If you guys have any comments or suggestions, uh, let me know. Uh, this is just a fun deck, so I'm definitely open to any uh, kind of suggestions. Uh, I, I wasn't even looking at what I was pointing at the entire time, so I guess if this video turns out to be like I'm looking over here, I don't even know what the hell I'm doing, but yeah, my bad. But I told you, I <laughs> hope you guys saw the deck. Uh, make sure to rate, comment, subscribe. This is Scruffy from Team Dark Horse. I'll see you guys later.